Hello everyone, welcome to our webinar today. Thank you for joining us. We are going to be discussing our leading digital transformation course here at Alliance Manchester Business School. This course is aimed to support you in applying a multi-dimensional approach to digitally transform your organization. So today we will give you an insight into the four days at Alliance Manchester Business School for this course, the course aims and the learning outcomes for both individuals and organizations. So we'll start with some introductions. I am Louise McCammond. I am Head of Client Relations for Short Business Courses here at Alliance Manchester Business School. My role is to support individuals in selecting the right course for their learning needs. I also work with learning and development teams within organizations to support the wider learning needs of their organizations. Panos, I'll hand over to you to introduce yourself. Thank you, Luis. Uh, I'm Panos Konstantinidis. I am the course lead. I'm a professor of digital innovation here at Alliance Manchester Business School. I'm really looking forward to taking you through the course. Thank you, Panos. So just a little bit of insight into the course. So it is four days delivered in person in our executive education centre here at the school. We are aiming this course at managers and consultants who are interested in or responsible for digital transformation within an organisation. Panos will be joined by a host of industry speakers across the four days. Panos, do you want to share some information around the, the guest speakers that will be joining you? Yes, um, we have confirmation of these uh, speakers um, attending the four day workshop and also providing their own view and experiences um, in relation to digital transformation. And as you can see, um, Mark, for example, Mark Evans is coming from healthcare. Uh, Vlad Jimen is coming from retail uh, and Brown is one of the biggest retailers in the Northwest, for those of you who don't know. Um, and uh, Simon Hayward uh, uh, works uh, at Accenture and he's also a professor of practice here at Alliance Manchester Business School. And um, we may have more or, uh, or, or less, uh, but uh, at the moment, um, these have confirmed um, that will be attending and will be giving short um, uh, lectures uh, followed by Q&A where you will have a chance to interact with them directly. Great, thank you Panos. So our next intake for this course starts on the 31st of October this year. We are actively recruiting for this cohort so if you are interested in this you can reach out to myself or the team for further information after this webinar and upon successful completion of this course you will receive a certificate from the business school as well as a digital badge and if you want to continue your learning journey with us you have the option of taking part in our manchester professional diploma in leadership the Professional Diploma in Leadership is an opportunity for you to create your learning journey personalized to you from a selection of our short courses over an extended period of time. So you are able to take our Leading Digital Transformation course, as well as other courses from across leadership, strategy and finance in order to address your learning needs. So I, that's a little bit of a summary of the course and how you can engage with us at the business school. So I will hand over to you, Panos, to provide further insight into the course. Thank you, Louise. So I want to start with um, what else, the hype around OpenAI's uh, ChatGPT4. Um, there are tens and, and potentially hundreds of similar technologies emerging. Um, including Microsoft's 365 Copilot, um, which I'm sure many of you have already uh, come across. Um, and this is a technology that is meant to offer intelligent augmentation, right? Um, supporting uh, different employees in, in your organization across all of Microsoft Office applications. Um, so 
uh, using such co-pilots, um, we will, in the near future, at the moment, they are piloting this with uh, select businesses, but this should be available in the next six months or so. We will be able to compile insights from Excel sheets, from Word documents, from emails to PowerPoints um, with the help uh, of a co-pilot co intelligent assistant. Next slide, please. And of course, um, foundational models or uh, chat GPT uh, type technologies um, are at the tip of the iceberg, as you can see here. This is a graph from uh, Gardner um, that shows um, a number of different emerging technologies um, from hyperscale edge computing to blockchain uh, to synthetic data being used um, in, in the context of digital twins, for example, and this is um, uh, true for uh, many different sectors. Um, and the way we organize uh, our relationships with clients, with employees, you know, the face-to-face the -face, uh, uh, type of applications with our customers is changing. Um, and all of this can make digital transformation feel very daunting. Right? Most organizations would not know where to start, how to select from this wide selection of technologies, and they would also not know what to do with them. Next slide, please. And you're probably uh, by now realizing that um, the course acknowledges that digital transformation is not nearly, not nearly linear. Um, it's a non-discrete uh, one-time event uh, um, uh, nor is it uh, contained in, in a simple project. In fact, um, in my experience in working with different client organizations, it is not uncommon to find competing visions uh, of digital transformation within the same organization, right? So you'll have marketing, thinking of chatbots to engage with customers. Um, you will have manufacturing. Uh, or production facilities, thinking about optimization technologies, and so on and so forth. And all of these visions will demand different priorities, they will require different resources, and um, each will pursue different outcomes. So several pockets of um, localized, uncoordinated digital initiatives often exist um, in organizations. Next slide, please. So what we will do in this course is to offer a multidimensional framework that A, is not linear, but rather acknowledges that organizations often experience um, different responsibilities, different governance structures, different resources um, and for different projects, and B, that they learn to exploit uh, new opportunities and address unexpected um, uh, challenges as they go through these projects. Now, the challenge is, of course, how do we bring all of these together? So the framework explicates the relationship um, across different dimensions, across strategy, across people, and across technology. Um, and it takes a deep dive in each of these dimensions. As you see here, um, there's three dimensions, and then there's a number of different layers uh, in each dimension. Um, and, uh, you know, these are important in understanding how do we use data, how do we innovate, what kind of practices should be in place, what kind of leadership and governance structures should um, uh, help to uh, enable uh, these new innovations to take place, what kind of infrastructure investments do we need to make. All of these questions need to be tackled um, in a comprehensive uh, strategy in order to understand um, how to bring diverse um, initiatives together um, towards, you know, uh, a single coherent a strategy that would help the organization advance uh, in its digital maturity uh, and be able to compete um, in a very uh, turbulent uh, market. Next uh, slide, please. So in terms of structure and content, as you can see here, um, there's four days and um, each of the days uh, will help you go through different dimensions of um, what we call the digital uh, maturity framework. So on day one, you will be introduced to um, theories of, dis of digital disruption, um, helping to set the scene for uh, the digital maturity framework. And in your groups, you will engage in different case studies 
that examine the point of view of both new entrants, but also incumbent businesses. And, and the two examples that I have here is Netflix, how Netflix disrupted Blockbuster um, in the 90s and early 2000s with a number of dig different digital technologies, but also incumbent businesses like Leica, which was um, initially uh, founded in 1869, almost went bankrupt in the early 2000s, but then reinvented itself um, as, a, as a key player um, in the digital photography uh, market. And, and this will set the scene, as I said, for then uh, discussing the recent uh, shifts um, in uh, digital markets, moving from physical to digital assets, from vertically uh, integrated supply chains to platform ecosystems, and also from um, uh, dealing with customers, not as buyers, but rather as users, because customers are also generating data and that data is important for you um, to innovate new services. And as you can see there, there's, there's going to be an industry expert that joins us um, to talk about their experience in relation to the shifts in, in the market. Um, and you will also do an individual activity, which is to use um, the digital maturity framework to reflect on your organization's current digital maturity in order to identify different development areas. And you will see that the course is both targeted towards your individual organization, but also as a group, you will be working uh, uh, to develop a strategy for an assigned uh, case to organization. Um, so in the second day, um, we will introduce the first dimension of the digital um, maturity framework uh, strategy and the different layers. And that would be followed by an industry uh, engagement uh, with one of our, uh, of our experts, but also that's when you will start to work in your groups to um, uh, start to define um, ways to increase the digital maturity of an assigned uh, organization to your group. Um, and this will follow throughout the day. So days two, three, and four will help you go through the digital uh, maturity framework, the nine lay the, the nine boxes and the three layers of the digital maturity framework, working with an assigned case organization uh, to identify opportunities for growth and digital transformation, um, and at the same time engaging with digital experts um, uh, from different industries. And, and on the final day, you will have a chance to present um, your uh, digital transformation strategy by drawing on the insights gained from working through the nine layers uh, across the different activities um, to present a comprehensive strategy for digitally transforming your assigned case to organization. Next slide, please. And the key deliverable, as I just mentioned, is to develop a digital transformation strategy. Um, this will help you apply the knowledge from the program, but you will also gain tangible knowledge by learning how to apply the digital maturity framework um, in your own organization. Thank you. Thank you very much, Panos. That was really interesting. And it's really great to see having the academic rigor with them being supported by those industry speakers as well. So just to, to share a little bit about the benefits um, of attending this course for individuals and for the organization as well. So the you know, Panos has touched on the digital first maturity framework. So you will be able to develop your own digital transformation strategy back in the business and as an individual you will be learning from from panos and from the industry speakers but also from your peers as well who are going through similar challenges with as you but from different organizations different industries and different nationalities as well and for your own professional career development this will support you in in your goals and for your organization, you'll be able to assess digital maturity um, versus similar organizations in the same sector. You'll be able to learn to develop a more effective digital transformation strategy and identify opportunities for growth and performance improvements as well in the digital transformation space. So I hope that has provided you with a 
good insight to our leading digital transformation course. If you do want any further information regarding this course, please do get in touch with myself or one of the team members. So thank you very much, Panos, again. And um, I look forward to, uh, to joining the course at some point. Thank you, Louise. And, and I do hope this has been informative for our audience. Um, I'm also available to answer any questions about the content of the course. Um, so anyone could uh, contact me uh, as well. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you.